Dev, you put this article and it's about, I guess, life after death. It's not life after death at all. It's how we bury our dead, basically. Yes. Now, traditional methods are coffin or cremation. There is people in the world trying to do green green burials, I guess they call them. So there's this one design which was made by Jennifer de Bruyne, which is an associate professor. And oh sorry, no, the designers were Raoul Bretzel and Anna Citelli. Okay. Now they have designed a world capsule called Capsula Mundi, that's what it means. It's an egg-shaped biodegradable burial pod. It kind of looks like when you get a kinder egg. Kinder surprise. A kinder surprise. And you've eaten the chocolate and you get that plastic egg. Yeah. It basically looks like that. But it's biodegradable plastic. And they've only started them for cremated uh, ash but they will be making some big enough to fit the actual person and they would put the person in the fetal position inside this egg. And what they do is they bury it and then they plant a sapling on top of it and the plastic biodegrades and then the remains provide nutrients for the tree. This is a great idea. I love it. I think... Fuck it- I, I, don't want to be, I, I don't want to be tree food. No, you are the tree. You become the tree. Well, you you, no, I mean, you provide I the nutrients. The food. Yeah, you and then and then you can put like in love heart, CJ. Oh, you carve no. it. You can carve it on. You carve I'll be you dead. Carve. <laughs> no, not you. So you, you <laughs> no, because... your loved ones will carve your name in the tree. You don't like it, CJ. So what they're saying is, when you no. when you rest in peace. The the wood, the cushions, the cushioning, the metals, the concrete reinforced in the grave, some of the graves, all contribute to pollution. Pollution still. Mm. Um, wood wood still. Uh, I thought wood would uh, deteriorate. It takes a long time. Plus, your body's inside it, so that's not really. It's going to take so long to fully decompose and blah blah blah. Plus, making the materials for them as well, a lot of energy. And they're saying that it's it's such a short amount of time and then it's buried. So it's very um, like the way we live now. I just- said, I, I've always said when I, um, if I don't get cremated, I just want a normal, like a plain wooden box, right? No cushioning inside and no handles on the outside. Why no handles? So when you lift me um, up, you'll we- remember me. How are we going to? How are we going to carry you, yeah, man? Yeah, you're going to remember me because <laughs> it's going I, to be I, hard. I, 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 I've, already got a, I've already had a hernia. I don't want to get another one. It's going to be really hard. <laughs> I was going to say, what about the alternative? I'll be, cur- I'll be cursing you all the way down like this dickhead. The tired ass <laughs> bastard couldn't put fucking handles on his coffin. What a dickhead. <laughs> if he was still alive, I would fucking kill him. <laughs> What about the the next step in the extreme? Just do away with the box. Just put the body in the ground. They do have those. Do they're they? at, yeah, yep, yeah, they do. Oh. They actually have um, scientific, I guess, like experiments, and people donate themselves for when they die to be placed there. And they they experiment with um, if they dig a, a deep grave, a shallow grave, um, sometimes no grave, and they just put like leaves and stuff around them how long the body takes to decompose etc etc um do they have clothes no clothes i think they're just wrapped in like like shroud type stuff i'm not sure or maybe they don't mummified i've watched documentary about it i can't remember (laughs) um you got me with the like yeah go on got i was gonna say that just feels like the most natural way yeah to bury someone yeah yeah. yeah. Well, these these designers, their goal was to create cemeteries full of trees rather than tombstones. I, I actually like and it and reduce the waste. I like it, and um, I think, I think I'd like that. I like that. You come to what? my. You you have to keep coming to my tree to water it. 
You know what I mean? Mm. Piss on your tree after you didn't put <laughs> handles in your fucking don't, coffin. <laughs> I don't think you need to water trees. Or when it's really small. When it's a sapling still. It's just small. Someone did say someone said they should plant bigger you. trees on it because anyway, that's just getting into the nitty gritty. They're like saplings are nice, but they should plant a little bit bigger. Anyway, oh. uh, there's apparently been a lot of interest in green burials in the last couple of years. People are sort of looking into them more and seeing. But here's a fun fact. Go on. Did you know that older dental fillings can release mercury into the soil. So quite so uh, some crematoriums have now installed mercury filters. I don't there understand you go. Yeah, why why is, is that is I don't Mercury's understand is it bad good That's what, what? bad. That's bad. Mercury Mercury's is no good. Poison. Mercury is poisonous. That's why you can people can get mercury poisoning from eating too much of certain types of fish. Fish. Yeah, right. But yeah. I guess the filters, if you're cremated and you have fillings, maybe the, the, they don't go down into the rest of the ashes, maybe. I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, Alexander, are you, uh, are you, do you like this idea of um, a pod, being a pod and then being um, tree food? Have a look at the, I don't yeah. know if you've got the article, but have a look what they look like there. I, I haven't. But did, I but did, did, in, did, did you know what's unfair? Alexander's tree is going to be so much taller than everyone else's. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to make I mean, what it doesn't matter. You won't... <laughs> I wonder how they would move the pod because would they just roll you? Would they roll the egg or would they like lift it somehow? <laughs> like freaking Humpty Dumpty mate just being rolled into a hole. <laughs> but how do you feel about not lying down and being in the fetal position? No, I don't care. I won't I won't yeah. know. I don't like... give a shit. <laughs> I mean, I've got a Zero box of no handles. I don't care. <laughs> I've been more opposed to burials rather than cre- cremation because I, I don't like the idea of just lying in a box and then being eaten by bugs. You won't know. Sure know. Sure know. <laughs> Maybe that's when you get over your fears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I no, like I, like, it. I, like, I like the pod thing. It it does make me think a little matrixy. Um, mm. No, I, I, I'm just saying uh, my tree be short and fat. <laughs> Alex, Alexander's will be tall and long. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Uh, have I, a look. I won't have much leaves on it. My tree. <laughs> have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Only. In- <laughs> have a look at the what? What is it called? What? Burial pod. Yeah, burial pod. It's called the real name for it is Capsula Mundi, but yes, it's a biodegradable burial, burial pod. pod. Check it out. I like the idea. I like it. 